hello everyone welcome back today we look the next component in the tecla structure that is nothing but the handrails okay so for that purpose i have created this grid in tecla structures and to create this handrail we just prepare some member placement uh, assembly on which we are adding the handrails over there okay so i'm just selecting this column okay and placing the column at this different locations okay so you can see i have added these four columns okay looks like this okay then height of the column is given as a 5500 okay now i will add the beams for this from this end point to this end point now this end point to this one set it here and then this end point to this end point okay so all the beams are get added over here okay so i will just make the connections for this column so go to the component there you can go for the shear connections in shear connections we are looking for the connections number like 186 so just select this connection you can apply any one out of this and it will make main part then secondary part you can see then the main part secondary part so here i have applied this main part secondary part then main part secondary part okay this main part secondary part click on main part and secondary part again for this main part secondary part here also okay so likewise we have calculated the connections now we are going to add the handrails for this okay so for that purpose here in components there is a component of hand railings okay if you select this hand railing you can see this component number 1024 it is available you can just select this hand rail over here it is asking for pick the part so i'm just selecting this beam and it is asking for pick the position so i'm just selecting this end point and you can see this type of hand rail is get added over here okay just we draw the view to remove that welding marks okay so now these are the handrails which are get added over here if you double click on this handrail then you can see you can just make the necessary changes in this handrails like here the distance of this first sanctions then in between the middle sanctions here if i keep the distance as a 500 okay then the distance this one horizontal distance in first and second right now it is 300 so i will just make it as a 400 okay that it is starting the total distance you can add that the total distance then similarly at the end side over here this horizontal distance is given okay so this is again i am making it as a 400 okay and just modify this now you can see the spacing is get increased over here okay then if you go to the parts here stanchion profiles are mentioned stanchions means nothing but the vertical rods in the railing okay so i will just make this as a vertical pipes or rod circular section rod of diameter 50 modify okay then handrail profile again i will make a rod for that of diameter 50 okay then knee profile knee profile means nothing but what all these corner profiles those are called as a knee profiles okay so for that also you can do that rod profile okay so likewise you can add the hand railing for this 
okay then in parameters right modify apply okay now friends for the select this handling pick the position start it from here you can see this will be added over here pick the position starting from the first point and then selecting the member starting from the first point ok so like this you can see a hand railing will get added in this ok this is the one way to add these handrails over here ok there is one more way to add this handrail just to show that I will just delete these handrails over here ok to add that you can just first of all add the stanchions ok you can see that stanchions are there here profile number 76 so you can just select this component stanchion ok and then pick the first point then pick the second point and pick the object and then middle mouse button so you can see such type of sanctions are there added if you double click on these sanctions you can just adjust the height of this sanction let's say I want the height only 700 ok then here you can just adjust the distance between first and second sanction let's here I am taking it as a 200 then starting will be 300 then distance between these two sanctions is maximum 1000 will be taken ok then this distance again I will take it as a 200 right and then I will just modify this so you can see the height will get reduced ok once you complete this go to the parts then first sanction profile middle sanction profile and last sanction profile so again you can give the circular sections so the same you can give for the all ok then first sanction profile rotation and rotation you always give if you want to rotate this one right this is applicable if you are using any sections right now we have used the circular sections so there is no need to rotate for this if it is a channel section angle section then in that case you can just rotate this with the help of this commands ok once you did all the settings over here next parameters connection type settings are the custom setting or by default settings whatever it is there ok and then modify right now once you create these sanctions over here next we are creating the railings for these sanctions ok so for that you can just click on the railing component ok can just see this is the railing S77 just click on this and pick the object so I'm just picking the object selecting all the rows one by one and once you complete all the sanctions just press the middle mouse button you can see the horizontal readings are there added over along these sanctions ok if you just double click on this you can see you can just make the edit all these things like here the start distance end distance this you can mention to this ok the profile you want you can add this profiles over here ok the different ways then similarly for the end I will change this to this modify you can see it is just open rail ok then here you can just add the distances for this next if you go to the parameter again you can add the top continuity profile middle and 
bottom this is nothing but the all these rods which is given at different different levels okay then here you have to add this railing profiles i will keep it as a rod of diameter 50 this modify this okay then metal rails okay the values of this metal rails so it is a 30 into 3 then vertical rails are also there panels and bench okay if i am selecting this you can just give this bend distances also over here once you complete all this as per the design and all you can just click on modify apply and okay right and then similarly you can create the stanchions for all other ends just pick the start point pick the end point pick the sorry select this pick the start point pick the end point pick the object and then middle mouse button pick the start point then pick the end point pick the object and middle mouse button similarly for this length pick the start point the end point select the object and middle mouse button okay then go to the railings click on the frame component and middle mouse button similar to the this direction okay so like this also you can create the and railings for the members in tecla structures okay so for today we stop over here okay in next videos we see few more components in tecla structure so thank you so much